Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for my monthly skincare routine video where I share with you the new products that I have been testing out for at least a month, sometimes longer, and I give you guys an in-depth review on all of the products after using them for an entire month at least. So if you'd like to see what I've been using, my thoughts on the products, and all that fun stuff, then just keep on watching. If you're new to my channel, I have combination skin. I have dry areas around here, especially during weather changes. My skin can be very flaky. I have an oily T-zone. I am in my 30s, so I am concerned about age spots, discoloration, fine lines, and drooping of the skin. I do believe that in your teens and your 20s, you don't need to spend a lot of money on skincare, but you do need to spend money on quality skincare and be consistent in cleansing, toning, and hydrating your skin, and especially protecting your skin in your teens and your 20s. A lot of your aging that you're going to be experiencing, a lot of it can be stalled or prevented if you just protect your skin in your youth. So here's what I'm currently using and my thoughts. If you guys watched my last video, I did a whole entire review on Erno Laszlo products. I've been very interested in this brand for a while. I've seen it growing up in department stores. This is the newest product on the market from them, and this is the Erno Laszlo White Marble Dual Phase Vitamin C Peel. It's two steps. So you're going to start off with this jar that's kind of like a squarish jar with the nice vitamin C peel. So it's got a lot of antioxidants. It's got a nice little physical and chemical exfoliating property to it. There's a light, gentle, physical exfoliation that happens when you massage it onto your face. And then the vitamin C, all of that good stuff, starts to do a chemical exfoliation as well. Now, I find that this is incredibly gentle, but effective at the same time. I have pretty sensitive skin, and a lot of exfoliants can burn or feel uncomfortable on me or cause peeling later on. This one doesn't do that for me. It definitely helps with discoloration, especially textural issues, and exfoliation is a really good thing to be doing at least once a week in your skincare routine. For me personally, I like to do two times a week for any exfoliating treatment because I do have textural issues around here, which cause makeup to kind of look choppy and not so blended. It also is just not pretty. I have like discoloration in certain areas because of sun damage. It's showing up through age. Anything with vitamin C, anything with a lot of lactic acid and um, a, a, an exfoliant is really helpful and beneficial for discoloration, textural issues, and just overall brightness of your complexion. So what I do like about this is that it has two of my favorite ingredients for that, which is vitamin C and lactic acid. You get a lot of product for what you're paying for, good amount of active ingredients for the price. So I encourage you guys to check them out. I will have all the products I talk about linked in the description box for your shopping pleasure. Now for cleansing, I always do a double cleanse, but the new oil cleanser I've been testing out is from Etude House. This is the mild cleansing oil, which I received from Soko Glam. At first I was kind of like, I don't know about this because I am very, very picky when it comes to K-beauty. I think some of it can be very cheeky and cutesy and not as effective. I found that it was really mild really gentle but very effective as well it removed all of my eye makeup even my Laura Mercier caviar eyeshadow sticks which are like incredibly sweat proof waterproof it removed my milk makeup eye pigments which are also very very um, stuck on there it does kind of fog up my vision when I open my eyes to like rinse off but it doesn't sting my eyes but it does fog up my vision but a lot of oil cleansers do that and I found it really effective. So this is my step one in removing my makeup or SPF or anything that's on my face. And I do apply this dry, and then I go in with the second cleanse, which is the cleanser I talked about last month, my E Nature Marshmallow Foaming Cleanser. So I'm still using that up. Now I tried out a new essence. This is from Juice Beauty Green Apple Brightening Essence. I have to be completely honest, I'm not a huge fan of this essence doesn't do anything bad. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I just don't notice a difference with using this versus a toner or using this versus another essence. If you're looking for something that doesn't have a straight up alcohol, if you're looking for something that doesn't have any synthetic fragrances, that is cruelty free, vegan, just really, really clean, then do check out the Juice Beauty one. Maybe get a sample of it first. 
but for me, it's not something that I would say has really changed up my skincare game. I also tested out the Neogen Real Flower Cleansing Water in Rose. This was from Soko Glam as well, and I quite enjoy this. This is definitely a toner to me. I like to use this after cleansing and just use it on a cotton pad and kind of go over everything, make sure my skin is balanced and ready for everything else. I've been using this in the morning specifically to just put on a cotton pad as well and just cleanse off my skin from anything that might have been overnight. Like if I was drooling, you know, the serum left over from overnight. I think it's a really good toner and cleansing water. You can use it as both. When I was traveling, I brought the E Nature Moringa Cleansing Balm with me because it is TSA friendly. And if I use this twice in my cleansing routine, it acts as my double cleanse. So I'll use this dry, I'll dry off my face, and I'll go in one more time with it. This is incredibly hydrating and emollient. It feels so nice and creamy. It's a little bit oily, but not too greasy. It removes all of my makeup. It feels lovely. E Nature is sensitive skin tested, so there are fragrances, but they don't use anything that is going to cause any issues to your skin. And the fragrance is really just very minimal like there's really no fragrance to it i think it's probably just there to get rid of whatever might be making it smell funky um without it but i love how it smells i love how simple the packaging is everything is very eco-friendly and they do use a lot of natural ingredients Sticking with E Nature, I also use the Birch Juice Hydro Sleeping Pack. Now I use this not every day, but I use it for when I know I'm gonna be on a flight, when I know I came back from a flight, when I know I haven't drank enough water, drank too much coffee, anything like that. Like I mentioned, I do have pretty dry skin. I don't like to use a face cream at night. I prefer facial oils and beauty oils. This is kind of like that extra boost of hydration for when I know my skin is going to be dehydrated. So I applied this the night before my flight. I woke up, washed it off. My skin felt really nice and plump. I also use this after flights and I also used it when I got back. Highly recommend checking this out if you have really dehydrated skin, if you live in a climate that's gonna dry out your skin when winter comes. I decant it, I didn't bring this whole thing. I just brought a little bit in a little jar. I like to just like toss all of my samples and stuff once I'm done with my trip because I always have more stuff to bring back and it's literally a struggle. Like the struggle is real in keeping all of my luggage underweight. We travel with so much equipment. We had the babies this time. It was just a nightmare. So whenever possible, save your samples and travel with that. Eye cream I've been testing out is from 3Lab. It is their new MI Brightening gel it's like a gel i feel like when you squeeze this out it's like a clear pearlescent pink so it really does help immediately brighten up your eyes because of the gel texture i didn't have any issues with it clogging up my under eyes and causing my milia to happen a lot of you guys ask about tips about getting rid of milia my biggest tip is finding the right eye cream or eye gel you want it to either be water-based a lot of heavy creams will be just too heavy and clog up that area which causes milia now milia can be caused by other things as well, but that is what I found has been the most effective is finding a lightweight, but yet still hydrating eye gel or eye cream. And I really have been enjoying this. It's really nice. I used it day and night. I brought it with me when I traveled. It was very helpful because I didn't get a lot of sleep. I was dehydrated and I was just stressed. So I found that if you see my photos or if you watch my vlogs that I will be uploading, um, through the next few weeks. Here on this channel, my travel vlogs, I don't look that tired. It's from Solowasu. I got this while I was in New York from the Amore Pacific office. I haven't fully used this for a full month, but I wanted to talk about it because I am obsessed. This is the first cushion compact where I actually am like, yes, 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 so this has an SPF 50. It has a high, high amount of skincare benefits and I am in the shade number 23 medium beige. This is brilliant. I didn't wear foundation the entire time I was in New York. I did wear concealer and I did wear powder, but then when I got this in my hands, I started to try it out because I wanted to make sure it was the right shade a beautiful lightweight coverage that's buildable. It has my SPF 50 and it has so many great skincare benefits to it. It has lots of antioxidants. It has a lot of things that help fight free radicals from pollution, from sun, 
from diet, exercise, life in general. And what I liked was because it was really humid in New York and I was under a lot of stress and clogged, poor clogging environment because of the pollution, I felt that this was better to put on my face than anything that was really heavy in terms of SPF or wearing a lot of foundation. It gave me just enough coverage to get rid of any of the discoloration and redness. It protected my skin and it was also treating my skin throughout the day. I really enjoyed this. There isn't a heavy fragrance either, which I really appreciate because some of the other uh, cushion compacts I've tried from K-Beauty or just from beauty in general are very heavily fragranced and break out from it. It just is so good. I will keep testing it out and obviously update you guys because I only really have used this for about a week maybe a little over a week at this point and I feel like I need to test it out even longer but immediately like I've just noticed a huge difference in my skin I highly recommend this it is a little bit pricey but you're paying for skincare not makeup final thing I want to share with you guys is lavender oil now a lot of lavender oils in makeup and skincare on my face I'm allergic to not all just a lot of it and there's different levels of lavender oil or different varieties of lavender oil I'm not quite sure which one I'm actually allergic to or sensitive to and I think it comes down to the quality of the lavender oil to be completely honest I think when it's a cheaper uh, quality of essential oil in the makeup or skincare that's when I have a weird reaction but when it's straight up lavender oil I don't seem to have any issues especially on my body now if you follow me on insta stories or when you watch my vlogs you'll see that I got attacked by mosquitoes in North Carolina I got attacked so bad that I couldn't attend my sister-in-law's wedding it was actually really really uh, disheartening and I was really upset and I had a huge allergic reaction because I'm allergic to mosquito bites I swell up they turn into about like a golf size ball sometimes a softball depending how big the bite is I will just swell up and it I'm miserable like the most I've ever been bit in one time was five and that was pretty miserable on our honeymoon but it was manageable, like I could still go out and kind of live my life with calamine lotion and with uh, bug spray. But this time I had 12 different bites within 30 minutes and I had been wearing bug spray. Needless to say, I had to be rushed back to the hotel, doused with Benadryl internally, externally, and knocked out because I started to swell up. It was disgusting and I, I think I showed you guys on Insta stories like after it stopped swelling as much, but it was really disgusting. And you guys even were like, oh my God, what happened to you? And I'm like, yeah, this is it better. What we discovered, we had tried calamine lotion that wasn't working anymore. I tried cortisone cream and that would give me a little bit of relief for like maybe 20 minutes, but then I couldn't stand it. And we also had the Benadryl spray. I was taking Benadryl. Honestly, like I, the only thing that was giving me relief was Benadryl, but I couldn't keep taking it because it would knock me out for the entire day. Got to New York. The first thing Humps did was run and get lavender oil from Whole Foods. This is just the Aura Cassia Pure Essential Oil brand. And then he also got me Epsom salt with lavender infused in it from Dr. Teal's. And he filled a bath of Epsom salt and like made compresses with Epsom, Epsom salt and put them all over my bites. And I soaked for about 20 minutes. And then when I got out, we put the lavender oil on my bug bites. Immediately the swelling went down in so much and I finally had some relief. If it wasn't for lavender oil and Epsom salt, I don't know what I would have done because I couldn't, like, I couldn't function. But it would be fun to share also because I know a lot of you guys have kids who get bug bites and are highly allergic. A lot of you guys have bug bites. Definitely try out the Epsom salt and the lavender oil if you haven't had anything to really help find your relief because... I don't even know how to explain how horrible it was, but it was really, really bad. So that is everything I have to share with you guys for September's skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, I upload three new videos here on this channel every week. I'm going to be shifting my upload schedule to Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys back here in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to. I really appreciate it if you do. We're very close to 100K here. September giveaway. Don't forget to enter. I've been really, really enjoying 
writing and sharing my life and lifestyle over on the blog. I've been working really hard on it, so I'd really appreciate if you guys like reading blogs to go check that out as well. And of course, if anything, I just hope my videos helped motivate and inspire you at the end of the day to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I'm just a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me. And if that speaks to you, I'm happy you found this channel. And if anything, I just hope you were able to unwind, de-stress, and take your mind off of whatever it was you might have needed help taking your mind off of when you clicked on this video. So have a good night or a good day, and I'll see you guys right back here in my next video. Bye!